What is up, YouTube? It's Ricky, the chosen one here, and today I will be showing you guys how to fix Windows 10 stuck on the welcome screen. Let's get into it. Okay, everyone. First, you're gonna need a laptop or a computer. It could be your friends or families. Next, you're gonna need a flash drive, or in this case, I'm using a hard drive, and it has to be over eight gigabytes. Let's get into it. All right, first you wanna go into search up Windows 10 download. There you go. Click on that, it should be the first link. Then scroll down a little bit if you need to. And that download to right there. Should download right away. Go ahead, open it up. Hit yes. And remember, when you, you have to download it and set it up. Oh, this laptop, you to work on that one. You to this There you go. Now hit the second one because you're not trying to upgrade this PC. You want to use it on another one. So you're just creating an installation media. And here, okay, so what you want to do, if you don't know if your um, laptop's a bit, what, what I would recommend, uncheck this box, hit this one, and just download both just to be safe. And click next. And you want to do the first one, that, the flash drive. Even though mine's a hard drive, it still works in that one. And hit next. Then you want to find it. And if you can't find it, just unplug it and plug it back in. Just make sure it's in there good. And find it. Click on it. Hit next. What's up guys, I'm back and it's almost done downloading. All right, guys, I'll be back when it's done. What's up, guys? I'm back, and it's about to be done creating the Windows 10 media. There you go. And then now it's, it should give you that. It's ready. So now you just want to finish it. Okay, so now what you wanna do, go into your um, downloads. Here you go. It should be the first one. You can see because of the time or the date too. You wanna drag that, and then you wanna find your uh, flash drive or hard drive. Drag it in there. I already have it in there. As you can see, mine's right here, and it should look like that set up. 
So now you're done with this laptop. Let's go to the other one. All right, guys, you want to go to your broken laptop, plug in the hard drive or flash drive. You should hear something. Okay, there you go. So be aware that you will lose everything unless you have backed up your laptop. But if you're worried about losing everything, you could go, you could stop this video real quick, go on YouTube and search up how to back up laptop without getting into it. And you guys should find a helpful video there. And after you're done with that, come back and let's finish this tutorial. So now you can see, I tried to log in, it won't let me. It used to be a black screen, but like the mouse would come up, but it was like, so the screen was responsive, but I just wouldn't see anything. So what you wanna do in that case, uh, remove the battery for like about as long as you can. I did it for like a week. I didn't really need this because I have my other laptop. So you wanna remove the battery, Leave, just leave this alone. I did it for like about a week and then the screen started to show up. But now when I try to log in, all you see is a loop, 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 and it doesn't go away. So what you wanna do, hold the shift key, go here, find the power and hit restart and don't let go of the shift key. And keep holding and it should take you to this troubleshoot window. Okay, once you're here, gonna use a device. And remember, your uh, flash drive or hard drive should be plugged in. It should be the middle one, USB device. And there you go. So since I downloaded both, it's giving me both options, but I know that this is a 64-bit. Um, so I'm gonna click on the 64. So this is just gonna install a fresh version of Windows since I'm not sure what was wrong with it, but I just found this way how to bypass it. I looked at a bunch of YouTube videos online and I couldn't find a way, but I just figured it out on my own. There you go. And there you go. Select the, the um, language or the time, whatever, and hit next. You could, you could try to repair it, and if that doesn't work, you could come back in and just, I, w I just want to install a new version on mine. There you go. What's up, guys? As you can see, it did install properly. This is a Windows 10 version, as you can see. It is later that day. I did get called into work earlier. And I hope this video helped. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. Peace.